Hello there. Hiya. Uh, so I'm Lindsay and um, if you're watching this video then hopefully it's because you um, like my page because you're interested in stamping up. So this is just a really quick video um, to show you some of what I've kind of got going on with the catalogue at the moment. Um, I'm posting in the middle of posting out catalogues to people so I've got a stack of them here and I'm just working my way through posting them out. But obviously really really exciting news that stamping up is coming to Ireland okay. Um, Oh my god, I'm so so happy about that. Um, and I'm going to come on and do a proper video with my face on the video. But at the moment, I'm sitting down because um, I have the catalogue to show you, which is the main focus. But also because I have, I I got a skin infection from a bite on my face, so I don't really want to be on the camera today. So I'm going to do that in a couple more days, and I feel like that's um, the swelling's gone down. So anyway, hi. Yeah. Like I said, my name is Lindsay. And um, this is the annual catalogue and the mini catalogue. If you haven't heard of Stampin' Up! or if you don't really know much about them, um, they're a company that operate, they're originally from America, but they operate um, in the UK, Germany, uh, Netherlands, France, um, different, different, quite a lot of different countries. And they've been operating there for a long time. And they're finally, finally coming to Ireland. And I've been asking them and asking them since I ever moved here, because I did used to be a demonstrator for Stamping Up! back in the UK. Um, I moved to Ireland about, um, gosh, nearly over four years ago now, so we're coming up towards five years ago. And I just, I was really sad when I came across and couldn't get Stampin' Up! So, well, hey, here we are. Anyway, so, um, okay, so the catalogue here, I just want to go through kind of the way it's displayed in a couple of bits so that if you're waiting for one in the post, um, you might have already had one from me, you might be waiting for one, I'm sending some out, I've been sending some out this week and they'll be on their way. Um, or if you do want one, just drop me a message with your, um, your name and address and I'll get one out to you. But they are more than just a catalogue, okay? So yes, they are a catalogue with all the products in. But they are such a great idea book and inspiration book and they've got such such pretty images in all the way through with all different ideas of what you can make with different stamp sets the dyes the inks and papers everything um and i actually keep my ones from previous years as well to keep them for all the ideas some of the stamps do roll over from catalog to catalog so then you get more ideas and projects but also um, there's so many demonstrators and users of Stampin' Up! that if you um, like, like here there's an Washing Beauty um, suite, which is a set of papers and embellishments and the stamps here. And they're lovely. I really like them. Really soft, kind of pastely colours, nice kind of spring summer colours. But if that wasn't your thing, if you find a stamp set that you, you're not really that keen on or you don't really understand how what you can do with it, if you just go into Google and type in the name, um, like loads of ideas will come up okay so there's loads of people out there making loads of different kind of things with it so sometimes when you look in the catalogue something might not quite stand out to you you might think oh you know i'm not really sure of that like a particular stamp set might you might think that's oh, not really my thing but if you google them and have a look there's loads and loads of ideas out there and there's some people make some fantastic things with them so it's always worth doing that and having a look and getting inspired into some things um i always like to say as well it's nice to make cards because you're not making them for yourself, you're making them to send to other people. So it's not just about what you like personally, it's about maybe what um, your, the receiver would like as well. So in the catalogue, they have a set of suites, which they, they put at the beginning, and then kind of just some, some kind of general sections there. But it always starts off with um, sort of a bit, a bit of information about um, the products as well. Um, there's even a bit about the stamps in here. But one of the things I do like to do is I really love doing the videos that are about kind of the technical bits what um stamp should like stamps should i use should i use the red stamps should i use the clear stamps uh, should i use um the colored water water-based ink should i use a solvent-based ink should i use solvent-based pen should i use water-based whatever that kind of thing i love doing that so that's that's what i'm going to be a lot of the time focusing on is like how to's or what should i do with what product is best to use for this kind of thing and that you know obviously works for all different brands of things as well um, so it just might be good information. But um, as you go through the catalogue, you'll see it start, always starts off with all of the different stamps. And then they show other products there that you can match them up to within like the, the different options. Um, and they're just really, really nice. They're nearly always shown at 100% um, uh, size. So you get an idea of the size of them as well. Um, they tell you where to see and find other bits of products that are in the photos. And so you go through kind of the stamps here. Um, there's embossing folders, there's punches, um, and then you get to 
the section in the middle that's about, kind of about um, colours. So after you've got all your main stamps and designs, you kind of then come to a section. There's embossing folders here. These are background stamps. So you get um, background stamps here. You get, um, and then you kind of go into the storage here as well. And you go into storage and colour. Okay, so the colours are in the middle bit here. And that's one of the things that drew me to stamping up in the very first place was the colour. Um, the way they range them out. So you've got brights, neutrals, regals, subtles, um, basics, and then you have the in colours. And the in colours are a set of five, and they're released every year. There's a new collection released, and that collection lasts two years. So there's always two collections on the go, and they overlap by a year. But just to show you, like an example, um, these are a set of the ink pads. These are the in colours for 2021 to 2023. So they will last all the way through till next year, in which case then there'll be a new set out next year that'll take over from these ones. But I got these ones because I really, really like the colours. I love that soft succulent. I know it's been really, really popular. Um, the pale papaya, polished pink. And I can still remember in colours sometimes from some of the old years, like gone past. And I still think, God, that, that was a really nice shade of colour. And sometimes they do bring them back. But they are kind of like a, like a, a, a colour set for just the two years. But you can get loads of products. And then just to show you the cardstock there. And I wanted to show you this because that's one of the great things about Stampin' Up! Is that you can match the inks to the cardstock and you can see there or every single color cardstock there it matches really like perfectly it's really great the inks match the card they the designer paper that they have um they have double-sided papers and they are really nice thick quality papers with designs both front and back sometimes they're foil designs sometimes they're planes these are just a selection of some of the christmas papers that i've just been using to do some projects with um and they all have the same colors mixed in so it, they're really great colors because they're arranged really nicely they have pattern papers to go in them and they oh they only use those colors throughout the whole range so even if you look at the embellishments they're all in colour ranges that are in the colours of the inks and paper. If you look at um there's more embellishments there. If you look find the ribbons as well, there's designer papers. There's all the papers with all the pattern papers matching up with the colours. So everything matches perfectly. Um, and then you've got there's watercolour pencils. These are stamping blends which are the solvent ink um, type markers. So a bit kind of like your pro markers or um copics, that kind of thing. Um, and there's, there's even some pastels they do now as well. So there, there's some great ranges there with, and there's ribbons and every colour they use, like that satin ribbon is soft succulent. So it's this colour here. So it matches. So it's just, oh, it's really, really good to use. I'm just, I'm so happy <laughs> that we're going to get to use them again. And, um, and then they do really innovative um, kind of things like this perfect placement um, stamparatus, which is one of those kind of... Um, stamp placement tools you can buy them from other places um there's some other brands out and stampin up brought those out a few years ago and they're really excellent and they're great i did my wedding invitations with those they're great for batch card making so anything like christmas cards that kind of thing and they do a die cutting machine so if you're into your die cutting they do that and don't worry if you don't know the terms like die cutting and things like that i'm kind of going to go do different videos about those and show different things unique to each type of um products and machinery and things like tools and things like that um but they do all these punches so they do these great punches that coordinate like the cherry one there the cherry builder coordinates with um different stamp sets and it tells you which stamps that they coordinate with and what page it's on and these are all the other stamps here and uh, they do all the regular tools scissors and cut the, the um paper trimmer is great i really love their paper trimmer and and they do a really great stamp cleaning tool as well so um, they do a uh, stamping scrub where you can scrub your stamps on uh, like a felt pad and it helps clean them. Before that, I was using baby wipes um, before I discovered stamping up. That was uh, like over 10 years ago, probably 12 or 13 years ago that I was started looking at stamping up and I've continued to love them. And then um, this is the Christmas one here. So what they do is they bring out one annual catalogue. There's a Christmas catalogue or sorry, a seasonal catalogue, I should say. Um, that spans for autumn as well so it's got things like harvest in there and halloween so there's there's things like the witch hat builder punch there for halloween um some great things for making lots of little treats and bags and things like that there 
um, they're great harvesting. Sometimes I think the harvest ones are a little bit overlooked because they're great for other times of year as well. But like I love all these autumn colours and the leaves. They're so nice. Um, but they're really great ideas um, within the catalogue as well. So just really, really nice kind of inspirational things um, to, to use. Even if you've got different products, you know, you can mix and match them to fit in as well. Um, that's my ultimate favourite sweet from this year lights of glow i think that's just i'm going to do a whole thing just on that one i think later because that is just absolutely gorgeous and you get glimmer paper which is their kind of glitter based quite thick um it's called paper but it's more like a card it's quite a thick glittery one they've got um foiled designer paper they've got six they do six by six as well as 12 by 12 papers just look really really nice here um and that, so that's a whole range of everything from kind of autumn right the way through into new year and then they bring out a spring catalogue as well. So they bring a spring, what they call the mini catalogue, which will be in the springtime through and then until the next annual catalogue comes out. So they're the catalogues there. Um, like I said, if you want me to send you one, just send me your details. I will send them out. I've got more on the way. Um, they're just coming this week. I'm really happy, I'll be honest, to get hold of some of those. Um, I have a great um, lady who is my um, a Stamping Up demonstrator from the UK. I was always under her. Um, she was like my team leader um and she's really really supportive and does really great things um one of the things i also like is the get togethers if you can ever get together as well um in person it's always good and obviously covid stopped a lot of that but um but yeah and then i just wanted to go through uh, just at the back uh, just a really quick thing here that if you um do order from the catalog as well don't forget to always just check this little box it's always at the back um kind of few pages there's there'll be one in the seasonal as well there it is at the back there and it shows you that it's they call it party sales but basically if you put a big order so if you're a group or a club or just a few friends that are getting together to put an order through if your order is more than 200 euros you get 10 percent back in stamping rewards you get 10 percent credit so you would get 20 euros to spend on whatever you want when you put the order through and that goes up as the order goes up and if you spend um more than 550 again and maybe as a, like a club order or a group together you get a half price item as well as 14 percent um back in stamping rewards so you get good rewards back for when you get the bigger orders through and you also um have the chance as well if you if you um qualify for putting over 200 euros you get to order any of the host items and there's always some like here's some papers some stamps um and there's always some host items at the back that you can only order with stamping rewards so you can't order them in your main order you have to use stamping rewards and they're highly reduced so like something like that begin with a dream is really nice set there like pay people all together it's got their um, kindness changes the world one heart at a time it's got a globe with sort of leaves on it and a, and a heart shape really flexible sort of uh, multi-use stamp and it says there that although it would normally be 27 euros um they sell it as, as a hostess item for 16 so you only need 16 euros with the credit so that means as soon as you hit your 200 euro order and you get your 10 percent or your 20 euros credit if you wanted to you could order that stamp set and the same with these ones, that, that Garden Grandeur is only 13 euros and that one's 16 as well. So you always get a chance to order these host ones, which can only be got via the, the stamping rewards. And then if you're somebody that um, orders quite regularly, um, either by spends a lot on craft supplies or is part of a, a group or a couple of you together, you can always go ahead and get a starter kit. So you don't have to be a demonstrator trying to look for it to do this as a business. If you want to be what they call a hobby demonstrator, you can get a starter kit. And I'm going to go through this in more detail later. I'm just skimming this at the moment. But you can get a starter kit for €129. Euros. You choose 175 worth of product. So you actually get nearly 40, I think it's 44 euros free in product. So you're basically getting a discount of 30% if you order um, and pay 129 euros plus you get catalogues um, and you get the opportunity to have a discount then on all your future orders and then at that point if you decide it's not for you or you haven't met the criteria to keep to keep yourself as a demonstrator you can resign but you can always join again so there's no harm to do that if you think you're going to be using quite a few bits and bobs because it gives you a great big 30 percent off your initial order and then discounts off your other orders as well um just a quick um, handy bit is that stamp index at the back as well the main catalogue always has a stamp index by the title of the stamp set so you can quickly find them and there's a bit of a, um, a an index there to help you find different 
different things but yeah great some great stuff they do everything from all the adhesives and i'll do full videos on adhesive types and what they can be used for and what types you should use when you're doing which kind of project embossing fold embossing sorry heat embossing as well as dry embossing or embossing folders with die cutting as well um and then there's ink and coloring like i said lots of different coloring tools that they have um and then punches and then the scrapbooking supplies and then all the storage as well so a really great selection of things and that's me finished waffling on for today um and so that's just a quick shout to show you the catalogue basically that's going out this week um remember the date is the 4th of october that stampin up launches in ireland i'm not officially a demonstrator until i sign up on that day you can't sign up within ireland until that date so i'm starting from scratch on the 4th of october so um ideally obviously i'd love it if anybody wants to continue to um, order from me as, as customers of stamping up or if you want to join stamping up as a demonstrator um, i would love it if you could just hang on literally just a few days to allow me to get my demonstrator status up and running and then you can join myself so that we can then um, you know get together and have some great team meetings we can do some great projects together and um, as as customers like i did when i was a demo in the uk as a customer of mine anyway whenever you place orders you always get like a little thank you in your order and there's always the chance of doing um entering with a hostess code i'll explain that later but you can always um enter um your order with a hostess code and be in a chance with winning a monthly spend on stamping up as well so hopefully that's enough info to get you started i'm really really going to enjoy um showing you some projects and things i'm just going to start creating some um some probably some autumn and christmasy themed ones first because obviously that's the season coming up to us and those who do crafting uh oh hi i've got a hiya there hi Lindsay. that's from anna hi hi anna how are you um that as everybody knows that's in the crafting world crafting for christmas especially starts well well in advance depending on how big your card list is so um for christmas projects a lot of people even start in august so i might even be a little behind here not starting to kind of october time but um i have got a couple of christmas things christmas things i'm just going to show you really quickly before i finish this video um not so here. okay so i just want to show you a couple of sets here i've got a christmas banner set okay these are all current items out of the catalogue that i've managed to um get when i was over actually in england this year so that's been really really uh, a great trip over because i was able to get something in ready as soon as i heard that stamping up was coming here but christmas banner um is they're a great set they come with matching dies as well but they're quite easy to cut out as well fussy cut if you want to um, really really flexible and and can be used for gift tags and can be used for on your projects and i've even got an idea with that for a one sheet um, like a one sheet wonder to make wrapping paper and things out some craft paper so i'm gonna go ahead and do some projects with that one and then carolyn mice that is a host set so if you see up there it's this cling set host um and it's a host set because you can only get it with the stamping rewards but it's um it's really cute it's really nice um i would say probably it's probably something that i would maybe overlook in a catalogue actually if that was a catalogue item because i don't generally go in for kind of cutesy all the time that's not really my personal style but it's great it's great for kids and it's great it, you, there's so many different ways of coloring these kind of things that you can do with watercolor pencils you can do them with the stamping blends you can do them with um with just a bit of a, a brush um you can get things like these water brushes here um, from stamping up and these you fill them with water and then you use the ink out of the ink pads so you can actually do it that way you don't even need to buy the separate markers um if you have the brushes and your ink pads um to do a bit of kind of coloring in there and watercolor um so you can make such different effects with them they're really really um versatile all of all of that's why i love stamps because they're really really versatile um they can be used for so many different things and obviously once you've got them they can be used over and over and over again so they're always like, you know, you can put them in the back of the cupboard and pull them out again at a different time. Um, you know, you can share them, you can pass them around in a group. They, they, they don't run out. So they're just such a great thing, even for kids. If you've got kids coming around, like just get a, pull a few of your stamps out, stamp a few in some black ink for them on some card or whatever and pass them around. Kids love them. Kids love colouring in. They're like little colouring in pictures. And if they're slightly older kids, they love stamping with them. Honestly, I'd done quite a few kids parties when I was over in the UK as a demonstrator where you can um, go over with, um, you know, like to a party. And I did like a few Christmas card parties where you go over um, with some of the, maybe some older children that are okay using kind of like all these things. And and they love like stamping, stamping ink themselves, maybe giving them a bit of a colour, maybe throwing a bit of glitter on. Who doesn't love a bit of glitter? Um, and then just, 
I'll just show you really quickly if you haven't seen them before okay this is how the stamps come so they are what they call the cling stamps and they're the traditional red rubber that cling onto um the clear acrylic, acrylic blocks and don't, I'm going to go through all of that so don't worry if that doesn't make sense but that is the red rubber stamps and there's something so lovely about red rubber stamps they smell they smell lovely and they're really nice and kind of tactile to feel um, and that's so that's a new set there I've got to use but then this is the other type the photopolymer um, or the why well, just come clear stamps but clear stamps here and that's just it there so there's a picture there of them and that's them there and they're they're really they're called photopolymer and they're really really sticky and clingy to cling to the um the blocks um different kind of texture and some people prefer one and some people prefer the other i love both of them i think they're both really they both do the same job as well stamping but these are really great for being able to see so like fully these banners because you can see through the stamp they're clear you can stamp the banner then you can take the text and stamp and see exactly where you're putting it onto the on the on like your cardstock so it's really great for things that need exact placement and of course then things like the stamparatus is even more um sort of technical ways of getting exactly uh, stamp placement as well but anyway that's that's the clear stamps there so they do the two types the red ones or the cling the cling the cling on the block but obviously they're not they're not see-through so they're um they're the nice red rubber you get a really nice um image with those as well stamped but you can't see where exactly where you're putting them like you can with the clear so um some are some type and some are some of the designs are other type anyway that's um i really have finished now because it's a much longer video than i thought it was going to be but um but yeah just i'm just so excited i literally i'm so excited i'm so excited that stampin up's going to ireland i'm really it's really made like my year i was so <laughs> upset that i couldn't get i couldn't buy stampin up stuff when i came over to ireland um and now and now we're going to be able to and it's just great um but i really hope that you're <laughs> enthusiastic like i am and i just can't wait to be able to do some projects and show you and especially techniques that's what my thing is my personal thing is techniques i love techniques and how to do things and why we should use this and not something else or what is the better to use in this situation so i'm really looking forward to sharing all of that um and i'm really really going to do another video very soon um so like i said catalogs are on their way they should be landing during this week this some of them went out during the week and some of them are, not, are going out kind of monday tuesday um i just didn't get a chance to go to the post office because I'm, I'm working this weekend but um but yeah so if you if you want anything if you need anything if you want to ask any questions i'm quite happy for you to message me even if it's not about stamping up just like some technical questions about crafting please give me a shout i used to teach craft classes i've ha i've got like 13 years experience experience in making cards i love everything from die cutting to stamping to embossing to uh, punching to everything about it um and i'm more than more than happy to answer any questions you've got so thanks very much and bye bye see you again soon